Well, hello, Bob Dendry here, and welcome back to City Skylines, where we are building the town of Lorikeet Valley. Hope you're all having a fantastic weekend, and let's get building. So, um, last episode we did a fair bit of detailing work, mostly around this roundabout, and also um, sort of a, just generally around the place, really. Um, this week, we're actually going to do something a little bit different. So basically the regional sort of development um, part of government has decided that to grant us some funds to try and alleviate the chronic housing issues we're having in New South Wales by getting um, some new um, dwellings built, fast tracking the approval and we are today going to basically be taking on the role of building that. And um, a sort of a preferred site has been identified as sort of this area um, a little bit out of town, so we're allowing some space to expand the CBD should we need to. Um, but it's not too far out, so it's still um, nice and commutable should we need to do that. So, we're going to jump in and have a look. First of all, let's see what sort of uh, grades we're looking at. So, as you can see, we're on the side of this big um, sort of almost mountain here. So, it is a little bit challenging, but I think we should be able to sort of straighten out this a um, little bit of an area here to get a nice gridded section down. First of all, what we want to do, we want to have a look at our link road here because the, as you can see, it's a bit, uh, bit up and down, isn't it? <laughs> so we're going to want to try and flatten that out as much as we can. And we're going to use the wonderful network multi-tool to do that. So first of all, we're going to start from our bridge over here. It is still going to go up and peak, obviously. We're not going to cut straight through this mountain, um, but we're going to smooth out the grades a little bit. Once again, I can't see what the grades are, um, which is unusual or a bit weird. Um, but as you can see, it's nice and flat there now. And then what we're going to do is smooth it out down to our uh, bridge there. And you can see got a 7.3% grade, which is still quite a bit challenging, I would say. Um, but it's not too bad. So let's have a look. And I think sort of this area here is going to be a nice uh, um, height to try and sort of set up a nice even pad with. So we're going to get a decent sized brush, really put down the uh, strength a little bit, and we'll just grab that height and we're just going to uh, just draw that out. And we are going to put in a nice large sort of area here that we can uh, set up this pad with. Um, I am going to take it quite far back and quite aggressively back, but we will um, smoothie smoothie that out so we're not coming, you know, along the side of a mountain pretty much. So I think that is a decent sort of um, area to start with here. I think that'll allow us to get in uh, quite a bit of housing. And now we're going to do the smoothie. Uh, get rid of those cliff textures. Okay, beautiful. So we've got a fair bit of grid we can set up here. We've also got a little bit of a pad here as well that we can use as well. Um, but let's just get started on what we've got here. I might try and get my... Uh, um, contour lines to stay so we've got a decent idea of what we're looking at. So we're just going to lay down some nice basic two unit roads. What I might do in fact I might just grab those rocks just move them out of the way. We might want to use them again but we'll just put them over there for safekeeping right now. Alright and we've got a nice opportunity to get a nice long, fairly straight section of road in here, which I think is quite good. And I'm going to do something a little bit different with our uh, grid. I think we're going to go with a probably a 12 by 12 grid, I think. Yeah, I think that will be quite good. That was not 12. Eh, 
And I think that's uh, pretty good, if you ask me. So let's lay down a little bit more. And we're going to turn our road guidelines off, I think, because they're giving us a little bit of trouble. Ah, end of another academic year. We are <laughs> still a pretty poor university. Um, pretty classic for, uh, I guess, an up-and-coming rural university to, to not have the best sort of reputation level. Um, but we're going to continue to work on that, and we are going to um, prove our doubt is wrong, I guess you could say. <laughs> so let's get those road guidelines off. Anarchy on and all right that's not too bad we are starting to go up the side of a hill there so we might actually get rid of this bit but I think we can maybe go another 12 along and still be okay there That's not too bad. So now we need to work out what our, uh, you know, our connections to this main road are going to be. And I think we want some reasonably decent connections. We're going to try and get in here at a 90. We might go the other way, in fact. Get our road guidelines back on. That might make it a little bit easier. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, I think this won't be too bad either, actually. We probably want to get rid of uh, this road here, I'd say. Because otherwise, you know, we've got those two intersections that were quite close together. Um, but overall, I think this is a nice start. Two entrances. We might put in another one down the line a little bit. But this is probably good for the moment. Next, we're going to get our services hooked up as well. Perfect, and we'll get that looped, get some redundancy in there, I think. Our water availability is okay at the moment, but because we'll be putting in a fair bit of stuff here, we may potentially need to expand it a little bit, so just need to keep that in mind. Um, in terms of power, our availability is fine, but we are going to need to hook up the power here. So we might just put a, a temporary line here for the moment, I think. Okay, so let's have a look and see what we're going to do with our zoning. So we're not going to zone the entire area here, so I'm going to leave some space for us to put some path connections in. Um, I think that makes sense. We want this to be sort of a new neighborhood, nice and walkable. Um, and we'll try and get sort of, hopefully all of the, uh, all of the amenities that are required for the community as well in this general area as well. So we might actually lay down um, our sort of support structures first, I think. And try and keep these sort of out of our main grid I think but still nice and close to it hopefully this will allow us to pretty much cover off everything we need um, we are going to need fire I think um, fire hazard is 50% so we are we are failing hardcore at controlling that so what I might actually do while we're here is actually get our fire station down back over here as well and we're definitely going to need to revisit that again I think but at the moment let's uh, keep on looking at this uh, probably on the other side of this sort of pseudo collector here um, police coverage crime is good uh, we're a very well behaved city as you can see even though we don't have all that many police stations um, so I don't think we will need one actually we might we might pull one in anyway um, just to make sure, yeah, we're covering all our bases. 
and we might just get a park in as well. We're going to break the grid if we do that, but I'm okay with it. And schools. Ooh, elementary schools. Wow. We are letting down our kids, I can tell you that much. <laughs> so let's see what we've got here. Got an elementary school there. That will cover us up to still not enough, but that's, a, a, I guess, an issue we're going to have around the other parts of the city. I think we're okay here. In terms of our high school, high school's okay. Uh, we've got one in the city that our students can access if they need to, so I think that's not too bad. And we might get a public library in here as well. I, I really like this uh, asset. And we might see... No, we can't... Um, yeah, we might be able to, actually. I'll just be a little bit off skew, but that's okay. All right, so... I think that's enough there in terms of amenities. I'm now going to lay a few sort of um, targeted nodes of commercial, as we like to do, just around the place. And then we're pretty much going to fill in the rest as a residential. Okay. Lovely. That's a nice little node of residential we're getting set up here. And what we're going to do now, um, you'll notice we had those lovely gaps in between our houses, so we're going to lay down a nice little path network there. And I think we're going to go with probably some just some basic... Uh, hmm, actually... Yeah, we'll, we'll just go with a, a nice basic pavement path at the moment, I think. And we're going to turn off our uh, grid snapping so we can get it nice and centred as well. guideline. Okay, and we'll switch it back on. Perfect. This is actually a tiny bit skew if, but it's all right. And we should be able to, uh, we'll have to turn off our guidelines again. In fact, we can go grid for this one. And just sneak that in the back there. Nice. And we should have power pretty much everywhere now. Excellent. Just our uh, police station is not getting the power, but it's okay. We can get... Um, we can put a little bit more commercial down, can't we? Which hopefully will uh, uh, develop pretty quickly. Cool. So we're just going to let that develop for a little while. Uh, while we are... Um, I just wanted to sort of revisit, I guess, um, the um, funds we've got from the uh, the government here to build this town. It also specifies uh, we need to set up some public transport connections here as well. And I think we have our rail line here, which will serve quite well to connect up and through to uh, this new suburb. We've got some vacant land here that we can potentially... Um, depending on the grades, which aren't too bad. Um, we could potentially look at getting a station sort of in this area here. So we're going to have a look and see what options we have. So what I've been thinking is that we could potentially break off this rail line and have it cross underground under our link road and sort of pop up above ground um, 
either just before or just after Sterling Street and from there we will uh, place a train station here. Probably just sneak it in this little, uh, this little area here. So let's have a look and see how that would look. Maybe one of Jokes, Joax stations, which we used before. Um, slope is too steep though. Is there going to be a place where it wouldn't be too steep? So back here, it's looking okay. So maybe we could actually put it on uh, the opposite side of our um, of this crossing road instead. So we'll just get ourselves a uh, two unit road and just drag that out. Just a nice straight one. Um, how does our topography look there? I think it's not too, I say it's not too bad. It's pretty bad. Um, but hopefully we can get that uh, train station itself level. Oh yeah, that's still pretty bad, <laughs> isn't it? Okay. Um, all right, what we're gonna do, we'll use move it to do a bit of grading here, I think. So what we'll do, we'll set it as the same height of our intersection here. Oh, whoops, didn't mean to do that. Apparently we missed this one. Okay, and then I will uh, just flatten out the terrain here. So what I'm going to do, sort of draw that out a fair bit. Um, we'll smoothie smooth this a tiny bit, hopefully try and get rid of the cliff texture, though it doesn't look like it's going to do it. And I'm going to see if we can just pop that in there. How does it look? It's nice, it's nice and flat. Excellent, that looks perfect. And uh, we'll have the line end here right now, but we could potentially look to expand it to um, across Sterling Street moving forward. That is very steep. <laughs> let's, um, let's just do a tiny bit of uh, work there. <laughs> oh lord, that doesn't work at all. We're going to have to move that one. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit better. I will have to move you as well. Okay, that's a... Uh, uh, it's okay. We might need to come back to it. I've realized I haven't changed these to the correct uh, track bikes. So I'll pull that out and we'll uh, change those. And we're off to the Euros wires. I think this is what we want. Yeah, that looks pretty good. It would be better if we didn't have um, the overheads there. I think we can fix those up though, but um, we won't worry about that right now. Um, we will, however, ban intercity trains right now, just while I remember. <laughs> and let us get these all connected up. So this is our picker. And I'm thinking what we want to do here is our freeform tool. And just join directly up there, if I'm honest. See if there's any smoothing we can do of our grade. But I think it'll be pretty all right. Yeah, it's just some very slight smoothing. It is a little bit of a grade, to be fair, um, but I think it's not too bad. Alrighty. And just sort of smooth this, this section out a little bit as well. Okay, that's not too bad. Our suburb is, yeah, it's growing up. Going quite well. And let's get a line set up. Or a... Uh, for this new sort of connection here. So it will go from uh, Birdsong through to our new suburb. And we just need to make sure we're using a different track. 
Perfect. Do the same track there. And return. Huh. Let's just pop that on pause for a sec. Because I didn't realise we had this uh, this little setup here. So we are crossing over to, to essentially the wrong side of the tracks. What I might do is delete all our stops here. And then replace them. So the people waiting on each side are not going to be happy about that. But... Yeah, that was uh, interesting, uh, and not the most logical thing either. Alright, so, now that we've got that set up, um, I'm just going to pop over here, we're going to put a different colour on here, and I'm going to name these two lines as well. Um, so this one will be the Lorini, uh, T1 Lorini line, and this is going to be the T2 Line. We don't have a name for that suburb yet where this is going to be travelling to, so probably need to think about that. And what are we going to be using for these? I think we might just use the same trains we're running here. So what are these again? They are talent-free three cars. Okay. So talent-free three cars. Perfect. And hopefully that all works okay. Nice. Oh, and there are people already getting on. That's exciting. And it's off on its way. Excellent. Okay. So. Got our little suburb building up here. We're going to lay down a district for it. What are we going to call this? Lafayette Hills I don't think works. It's not a very Australian name. <laughs> um, let's have a think about it. In fact, why don't you let me know in the comments what you think will be a good name for this district. But that is uh, that's a nice little uh, little bit of development there. So that's nice. Now, now that that's um, continuing to build up, which I think we still have a few spare lots, and we do, so they'll just continue to develop. I just want to check on our traffic situation, because we did have some issues with traffic, um, which we only partially fixed in the last episode. So if we pull up our uh, traffic overlay, what are we looking at here? 62%, that is very poor traffic. <laughs> and where are our hotspots? So the good news is there's no real hotspots, I should say, outside of our city. The bad news is we have a gridlock in our CBD. That is absolute gridlock. Now, what can we do to fix that? Let's have a look at some of our traffic routes. Let's see, once again, where are our citizens going? So once again, we've got a lot of traffic going into the Birdsong and Banksy Hills area. We were intending to lay down a bus to, to go between the CBD and... Um, and Banksy Hills, but we didn't get around to doing it, so probably makes sense to do that now. We've been sort of starting all of our routes over here at our education sort of precinct. We might start one by our library instead. And what we'll do, we'll have it sort of joining up with this white line, um, but it will actually run through Bird's Song instead. Because Bird's Song actually doesn't have any public transport servicing it right now. And we'll have it stop um, across the road from our train station, and then head off into the CBD.
And before I finish this one off, I'm going to pause so I can select the types of vehicles we want to use. And once again, loving these XEs. So we'll just set those up. And uh, well, we've got a lot in queue, 19 vehicles. I don't know if we need that many. Vehicle count modifier doesn't want to work though. Nope. <laughs> um, let's pull off some vehicles then. I, I reckon like eight is going to be fine right now, hey. So I'm just going to leave that. I'm not going to worry about coming back and being like, why aren't vehicles generating? Because, um, as oh my god. Wow. Wow, where are you all going? I don't know. That is a lot of passengers waiting. <laughs> um, so hopefully... Hopefully we've got some vehicles coming out, or will be coming out shortly. Fingers crossed. And another thing I wanted to do with this neighborhood is I want to set it up as really a, um, um, a very sort of environmentally conscious neighborhood. We want to, if you want to, you know, you can bike from your house into the city to, to wherever you work. So we're going to uh, get up a cycle path, which is going to just cut straight across through here and hop over a bridge near our station. I'm going to use our freeform road tool. Ignore that. straight uh, that's actually going off of the cliff a little bit that's not what we wanted <laughs> see if we can just go straight across here more or less oh okay <laughs> we'll just need to do a little bit of adjustment there with uh with move it if we can get to that uh nope can I please get to that so what We'll do it that way. And we want this to sort of join up, but obviously our key is sitting a little bit high. So we'll need to do a little bit of smoothie smoothie there. We want this to be a nice flat bridge. <laughs> we definitely do not want this. We don't want people to be doing jumps. So why are you smoothing into a ditch? That is not what I want. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Um, 
yeah, it'll have to do. <laughs> um, we will need to sort of smooth this bit out a little bit, though. That's not smoothing, though. That is uh, setting the height. But look at that. We've already got some people using our uh, lovely straight bridge. So that's really good to see. Next, we will try and fix up the uh, height of our key here. That's not what I wanted. So what we'll do, we'll actually go to select nodes. Is there not a node there? Do keys not have nodes? I'm not selecting nodes, I'm selecting pedestrians. Which is probably the problem. There we go. So what we'll do, we will lower you down. You just dip under our bridge. I think that's okay. I think that'll work fine. And there we go. Sorted. Mischief managed, as they say in the business. And Lafayette Hills is looking pretty schmick. A little bit of repeated housing there. But it is what it is. We've also got our lovely community school and our library. That is looking fantastic. Uh, I love that it's like it's got an entry on both sides. Obviously, I would assume you'd only be using this entry um, in actual facts, but it just looks really nice. Um, what we might do as well is just get this little strip of uh, gravel cleaned up as well. Um, so we will go with some ploppable asphalt. Probably no. Actually, we're we're gonna we're gonna go surface painter. Um, if I can remember how to do that, over here. So let's see if we can make this reasonably clean. The answer is no, not really, because we're not straight. That looks janky as. I don't like it. <laughs> um, no. Okay, next I want to get some decoration along these uh, little back alleys that we've got set up here. We've got some people using them. Look at that, lovely family going out for a walk. That is exactly why we put these uh, parts here to, you know, to facilitate these sort of uh, movements. So good to see it. Might go with some lily pillies. Those are not lily pillies. Those are. This also, I guess, gives a little bit of screening and a little bit of privacy to the uh, residences of the houses that are sort of back onto these, right? Which is everyone, actually. I think everyone has a house that backs onto this. So they're all in the same boat. <laughs> As you can see, we still have a lot of demand for residential. Um, so what we might do is to continue to expand this suburb a little bit as well. So going back to our terrain heights, we still have a little bit of a, a pad here we can use. Obviously we're going now towards the CBD, which we said we would sort of save some space. But I think in the end, we're going to have to do this to, you know, um, keep our residents on site and give them some place to live as well. <laughs> so we're just going to loop around this contour line, I think. Um, let's see. What's the height difference there? I reckon we can get a little bridge over here to give us an alternative access to the city. Let's have a look and see if it'll work. My anarchy yet. Give it a bit of a page up. No, no, definitely not going to work. 
Um, but we could potentially do one maybe here-ish. So it's interesting because it's actually pretty flat here now. Which is what makes it a little bit trickier. So we, I, I might just leave it for the moment and we can see if uh, we can make something work a little bit later. Got to go to 12 there. <laughs> um, we can probably flatten this bit out as well a little bit. Didn't mean to do that. Okay, and we might just bend this around. Lovely. I actually didn't want those to be bike paths. <laughs> I wanted them to be a regular pedestrian path, so I'll quickly fix that up. Uh, we can also probably, I think, get some paths in here as well. Nice. Okay. So it joins up to our park as well, so there's somewhere to ride through. Sort of perfect, but without the... Uh, Yeah, it'll do. It's fine. <laughs> Alright, so we've got that built up now. Um, apparently we've got demand, but no one's moving in yet. How is our water and power? That is all fine. And you might have noticed I left this little uh, this sort of narrow block free. And that's because I want to plop down a little bit of um, sort of a few townhouses here. Just to, to add a little bit of interest there. Just having a look and see what options we've got available. I think these will be quite nice. Yeah, those are good. So I do a little bit of alternating. I think I want this to all be level, I think. So just flatten that out a little bit. Do a little bit of uh, smoothing on the rest of it. And I think what I want to do is we want to actually set these guys up with some, uh, some parking. And if we have a look through, we've got uh, not... Mm, okay. I thought I had parking lot roads as well, but apparently I've only got big parking lots, which are not going to fit there, I think. I don't think I've got parking lot roads anyway. I don't... Uh, what are these? It's a network. It's this one. Oh, 
Well, that's a nice one. Okay, we do, I guess, have some sort of parking lot road. That's pretty much perfect, to be honest. Nice. We'll do a little tiny one unit two-way road there as well. Perfect, but not perfect. Because note stacking was turned off. Okay, that is nice. And we'll just get a few more townhouses down, I think. See if we've got anything else that looks nice. Maybe get a couple of a uh, different type in here. No, I really like these. They just about fit as well. might do as well is just shift oh god shift that across just so it's nice and uh, centered there One last thing to do, and that is to get some parking lots pop. Maybe. Ooh, actually, maybe not. Can't, because we need parking lots that sit on the outside here. Actually, hang on, no. Wait. <laughs> I think I can make this work. Oh, no, there. Uh, actually, that'll work. That'll work. No, don't upgrade. Not what I wanted. Ugh. I'm historical. Bit of a bit of lag, bit of slowdown. And it's that one, wasn't it? Perfect. Okay.
Alright, this one here is a little bit off kilter, so hopefully we can try and grab that. It doesn't look like going to be able to. It's alright, it's fine. <laughs> and um, last thing we want to do is we just want to get in a little bit of a... Uh, Um, disabled parking. said you were historic. Why are you upgrading? Oh, we're missing just a tiny bit of water there. You're historical. So stay that way. Why are you so slow? Alright. Nice, nice. So I was trying to work out why I was having some issues with traffic, or so much issues with traffic, I should say, because I always have issues with traffic. But, um, turns out I had some broken nodes. And it was this section here that I just replaced, so that was probably breaking my entire city's traffic. I'm just going to run Broken Node Detector again, um, and hopefully... Hmm... And it's broken again! Try it again. Okay, strange. All right, but hopefully now traffic's going to start flowing properly in the city. <laughs> Obviously, we've got a, a lot of traffic. We do. Um, <laughs> but um, what I've gone through and done is add some dedicated turning lanes, turning onto our collector here, which hopefully should um, make traffic flow a little bit smoother through here. And it already does appear to be uh, flowing a little bit smoother than it was. So let's just have a look and see what our traffic meter has to say. 61%, so it's actually jumped up, it, I think it was like 48% <laughs> when I was uh, looking at it before. So that's not too bad at all. Got a lot of abandoned buildings there, I think they're offices. Yes, and not enough workers. So we've uh, put in um, a fair bit of housing here, we still have a heap more demand and that's obviously just going to continue. Um, I have something special planned for the next episode, so I hope you uh, will join me for that one. But at the moment, this is really going to be it for this episode, so I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and ring that notification bell so you get a ding to your device the next time I post a video. There are links to my social media in the description, so please jump on there, you know, follow, like, etc. There's also a link to the Discord if you want to have a chat. Um, Always happy to join a conversation about content or anything else. And there's also a link to buy me a coffee should you want to give a little bit of financial support to the channel. But until my next video, I'm Bob Dendry. This is City Skylines. Thanks so much for watching and goodbye.